Today's objective is to solve one-step inequalities with addition and subtraction. You're already familiar with the symbol equal. Now we're going to add greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, and less than or equal to. Notice that every time you say equal to, there's an equals bar at the bottom. That's how you could remember that. You're already familiar with how to graph something that says a number equals a variable, so x equals 2. You go to that point on the number line, and you draw a point that's shaded in. So that is x equals 2. If you wanted to graph something like x is greater than or equal to 2, Maybe your mom said, I had at least $2 in my wallet. Well, if she had at least $2 in her wallet, there could be exactly $2 or there could be greater than $2. That's why we say greater than or equal to. If she said, I had at most $2 in my wallet, then you would say, well, she could have exactly $2 in her wallet or she could have less than, so it's less than or equal to. So you would graph that again it could be 2, filled in circle, or it could be less. It could be any of these numbers to the left. If she said, I know I have more than $2 in my wallet, you would say, well, it's definitely greater than 2. It can't be equal to 2. So if it can't be equal to 2, you're going to have an open circle there on your number line and only shade things to the right. Do not fill in the circle if there's no equal to bar. If she said, I have less than $2 in my wallet, you would say the variable is less than 2. Again, there's no way it could be 2, so we're going to leave an open circle there. That indicates it's definitely not that point on the number line, but it could be any point less than that. All right? These things only work if the variable is on the left. Okay, that's how you read it. That's how you graph it. So when we're done with our equations or our inequalities when we solve them, we're always going to put the variable on the left. Here's three examples that we're going to work through, and then I'll give you three to do on your own. The first one says negative 12 is greater than x minus 7. And you would solve this just like any old equation. You had this minus 7 term. You would add 7 to both sides. And you would get negative 5. Bring down that symbol greater than x. The only problem is our variable needs to be on the left to report it. So if negative 5 is greater than x has to be less than negative 5. I just simply change the direction of my equality, or in this case, my inequality. Okay, so to plot it on the number line, I will go to negative 5, which is right between negative 4 and negative 6, and it does not say equal to, so I'm going to um, have an open circle, and it says less than, so I will shade to the left. Number 2, we have negative 1 plus r is greater than or equal to 4. Solving it just like an equation, adding 1 to both sides of the equal sign, or in this case our inequality, r is greater than or equal to 5. Since it does have this equal sign here, we will include that on our number line, so we will fill in on 5 and shade to the right because everything's greater or larger, bigger. Number three, n minus six is less than or equal to negative 14. Just like an equation, add six to both sides to get the variable isolated. Negative 14 plus six is negative eight. Our variable's on the left, so that's good. It does say equal, so we're gonna be filling it in at negative 8, and then it says less, so I will be filling everything to the left. 
Now you can try three problems on your own. Please do include the number lines in your notes. All right, this is problem number six. 15 plus x is less than or equal to zero. You must re remove that 15, so subtract 15. x is less than or equal to negative 15. It does have that equal to sign, so I will be filling it in at negative 15. And it says less than, so I shade to the left. Number seven says three plus V is less than or equal to negative nine. Let's subtract three on both sides and get V is less than or equal to negative 12. Again, this has the equal to sign, so I'm going to fill it in at negative 12. And it says less than, so I shade to the left. And our final example says 8 is greater than or equal to n minus 6. And we will be adding 6 to both sides to get 14. Bring down greater than or equal to n. Now here's the only thing. The n is on the wrong side. So let's think about this. If 14 is greater than then n has to be less than or equal to 14. You just take whatever symbol it is and reverse it. This one again has the equal to sign, so I'm going to come to 14 and fill the circle in. And it says less than, so I will shade to the left. If you have any questions about this, write down specific questions so you can ask them tomorrow in class.